Okay, so in this lecture, no, uh, we'll be continuing our discussion on electrical network transfer function. But for this one, we will have another way of getting the transfer function of our electrical network or our electrical circuit. Okay, so what we're going to do now is to focus ourselves on this part of the table, the column, no, or these tables. We have the impedance and the admittance, no. So we will now use no our impedance for capacitor which is one over C S, for resistor which is one over R, and for inductor which is L times S. Now for the admittance, okay, for, for the admittance we have C S for the capacitor, one over R or G for the resistor which is the conductance, and one over L S one over L S for the inductor. No? So let's try to solve to have or to solve again our previous example no? on our previous discussion. So we have here the circuit. Maybe I will just draw again the circuit so that we could have a reference of our previous example. No? Okay. Let's have first my pen over here. No? So we have plus and minus. Okay. will be C and we have here the plus and minus for V C of T then we have here the uh, source which is V of T then we have here our L our R so this will be our C okay so we need to find here the transfer function of the capacitance voltage rela uh, relating to the capacitance volt uh, capacity voltage or cap voltage of the capacitor over the uh, voltage of the source no? okay so what we are going first is to redraw no redraw our um, our equation or our circuit as a as a circuit in which the component itself is now a Laplace transform no so we could do this one, we could use another pen in the color. Okay, so we could have that one as plus and minus. Okay. We have that one here. Plus and minus. So this will be our uh, inductor. So for that this will be our resistor and this is the capacitor. Okay. So We'll express all of our um, all of our components and quantities as a Laplace transform in terms of S. So for our voltage, no voltage source. Okay. okay. So for our this will be V of S. Then for our um, capacitor voltage, that will be V C of S. Then, of course, our L from the table, so that will become LS, okay? And for our R, so that will become 1, uh, that will become R, no? Because we are using impedance, so it will become R. And for our C, that will be 1 over C. Then our current, we will write our current in red, no? This will be I of S, okay? So... What we are now going to do is to um, get no? uh, get the TCL no? or the KVL, no? KVL. So KVL. Okay, so we will have here uh, V of S is equal to all of this one. So LS plus R plus 1 over C. Then that will be times I of S, no, so that will be our um, our our transfer func our function. No? If we are going to use um, KVL, no, KVL. Then okay, then we will just have here uh, get first the transfer function no? in terms of 
the current and uh, the voltage source and the current okay so we have i of s over v of s is equal to 1 over ls plus r plus 1 over c then we know that our from this one no? our vc of s is equal to the capacitance no? 1 of c times i of s no? from this one so we could now substitute the value of our i of s in terms of v, vc of s so that will become c times vc of s you can substitute that one here so we have c vc of s over v of s is equal to 1 over ls plus r plus 1 over c then we will divide both sides or multiply both sides by 1 over c so we will end up with vc of s over v of s is equal to let's go back so we could now uh, cancel out our c here no this will this will have a c and this one so that would be equal to 1 over l a c l s plus c c times r c times r plus 1 okay, times 1 and this is this is now let me check first here you now okay so this is 1 over cs already because we have here 1 over cs for this one and this is cs 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 no? so we have here cs and we have here cs no okay so now we will have this one as uh, this will be c s squared r c r s plus one okay so this now will be our transfer function no? this is one we will just like it should be here our answer no okay so i forgot the a while ago i forgot the it's one over c s because the impedance for this one is one over Yes, I'll put that at one. So we shall write that at one as L C S squared plus R C S plus one. Okay, so this will now be our transfer function. So just very easy, you just uh, put no or write the the equivalent impedance. No, we transform our given components here to the impedance and also make the Laplace transform or get the Laplace transform of the other quantities. So our V of T will become V of S, V C of T will become V C of S, then our I, no? because we have here our I, this I of T will become I of S. Okay. So maybe we will have an example no? to appreciate the usefulness of this um, of this type of or this technique no in getting the transfer function of our electrical system. maybe i will just find here another example for that one okay so what we could use no a very simple circuit perhaps okay okay so maybe we will have a simple circuit okay so we have here the example now okay so we have here plus and minus okay this will be our inductor this will be our resistor and this will be our capacitor okay so this will be 2 henry this will be 3 ohms and this will be um, 6 no? 6 farad okay and we have a plus and minus vc of t will, this will be our v of t then we will have our current here you know, which is i of okay so in order to solve for this one so we need to find so if we will be trying to find the transfer function relating to the capacitive voltage over the um, voltage source you know? so the first one is to have this one to convert this one into a circuit in which 
you have already obtained the Laplace transform the quantities no so first we have our circuit here plus and minus so this will be v of s so this will be 2s no because it is l time ls so our l here is 2 so it will be 2s so maybe i just write this one as an inductor no i have represented inductor as a symbol for capacitor okay then we have the resistance and the capacitance or the capacitor you know so our resistance will just be uh, itself no three and for our um, capacitor so that will be one over cs no so one over six s plus and minus vc of s okay so applying tcl okay applying TCL, oh no, not TCL, I'm always thinking of TCL, applying KVL, no, KVL, so KVL, so we will have here V of S is equal to, forgot to write here the current, so that will be I of S, so I of S times 2S plus 3 plus 1 over 6S, no, okay, so this is, uh, this transfer function, or this 2 of S, 3, and and 1 over 6 of s so the formula for this one is assume that our initial condition is equal to zero no? so that is the main purpose of the transfer function assuming all conditions is equal to zero initial condition is equal to zero so on the previous uh, video i have shown uh, what uh, how to get the tra the laplace transform of a of a derivative or a differential so uh, as you notice on that example we have we have uh, terms such as um, s uh, s v prime of zero s v v double prime of zero in which uh, those are the initial conditions so because we are getting a transfer function so we assume that the initial condition is equals to zero that's why we will be only left with this term no? if we are going to simplify that one so i hope you have noticed that on the previous video so solving now for the transfer function i of s over v of s so this will be equal to 1 over 2s plus 3 plus 1 over 6s and we are going to get the common denominator for this one so that will become 1 over so 6s times 2s that will be 12s squared plus 810s plus 1 or over 6s so reciprocal so that will be equal to 1, I uh, know, 6s over 12 is squared plus e10s plus 1. Okay. Now, what we are going to do is to have no, the relationship between uh, vc of s and i of s. No? So, we know that 1 as the uh, vc of s is equal to i of s times 1 over cs. No? So for this instance, our Vc of S is equal to 1 over 6S times I of S. So solving for I of S, so I of S will just be equal to 6S uh, Vc of S. We need to substitute this one, in, this one on this equation, this one. Okay, so we will now have, okay, we will now have Vc of S times 6s okay all over vc a uh, v v of s is equal to 6s over over 12 s squared plus e10 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 that one e10s no e10s plus 1 then it will we will multiply both sides one by one over cs so this will be cancelled out it will be also cancelled out for this one so we will have v c of s is e over v of s is equal to 1 over 12 e squared plus e 10 s plus 1 okay and this will now be our transfer function for this circuit okay so as you notice, our network now is just a basic uh, series RLC circuit, no? And also, we could uh, in 
you are now getting the transfer function in terms of x. Now we need also to find the equation for this one which is in terms of v of t no? or in terms of vc of s. So we need to find the uh, exact equation for this one and, and in the way so we will, could, we, we will use the inverse Laplace transform of our transfer function. No? And, big, and that will be on the later part or the uh, uh, a discussion for another video. So our, our later video will be talking about that one. No? As of now, we will just try to have a discussion a simpler, uh, in, in much simpler uh, series RLC circuit. No? In the next few videos, we'll be having that one on a, on a parallel circuit, series parallel, and also um, getting the, um, the inverse Laplace transform of our transfer function so that we can now get our equation, our control system uh, equation, no? which is in terms of the output or in terms of the input. Okay, so I hope you understand something on this video. So thank you for always watching and thank you for um, uh, joining me and learning the electrical network transfer function. Okay, so as always, enjoy learning.